What is going on everybody, it's Nothing But Skills, and in today's video we're going to be talking about how to get the exotic sniper rifle, the Nemesis. Now the Nemesis is a quest item, which means if you want a 100% guarantee way to get this weapon, you will follow the quest which we'll cover in just a second. But there are other ways that you can get it. You can do it by doing target farming, like every exotic in the game. So you look for the symbol, this one shows um, rifles, but you look for the symbol that shows the marksman rifles, and that is where you would farm it. Now that will have a chance of dropping the nemesis. They also have bounties. Bounties are another great way to get exotics in the game. But previously this weapon was only available in a quest. And that's still gonna be the most effective way of getting this because it's 100% guaranteed. It's not random like the RNG, right? Random drops that you can get. This is going to be 100% drop rate if you do this quest. So let's get into how to complete the quest for the Nemesis. So the first thing you guys need to do is head to Tidal Basin. Now Tidal Basin will be locked, so you're gonna make sure you do the three weekly invaded missions and then the weekly stronghold, and then you can go to Tidal Basin. Now once you get to Tidal Basin, you're about 25% the mission. There's going to be a door that opens up in front of you, exactly where I'm at right now where it says secure the area. You have to go in here to hit a switch to get to the next area. So after you hit the switch or before you hit the switch, you can go up these stairs and at the very top is going to be a key card. Now this key card is what you really need, this black tusk key card. So you need to make sure you grab that and then hit this computer so you can get to the next step. But you need that key card to get the first piece of the exotic sniper rifle. Now as you continue on the mission, you're gonna to get to a point where you enter the hovercraft, clear out this area, and once you get into an area that has three monitors, there's gonna be a little door on the right that says input the code, and that's what the key card lets you do. So once you click input the code, it will go to a room that has a box, and this sniper rifle right here, the one right in front of me, is the sniper rifle you're gonna to need to deconstruct. This one right here. So just go to your menu, and before you deconstruct it, just read the title, I am she, whom none can escape. Within me is the key to my true name. So that's why you know this is the sniper rifle you need to deconstruct. Now once you deconstruct it, you'll get the first exotic item for your exotic sniper rifle, the tally. Now the next couple parts can be done in any order, so don't worry about this. What you need to do is complete every stronghold in the game invaded and that's where you get each piece and I'll explain that in just a second but you do not have to do this in any order remember they reset weekly so you'll get a different stronghold you can do once a week but you will have to complete each stronghold district union capital and Roosevelt so if you're watching this video this week district union is the invaded mission so we need to do district union and there's going to be a boss there that drops the first exotic piece that we need. That boss is Klutz, and once you kill him, he will drop the exotic piece that we need. So just pick that up, and then now you have two pieces of the exotic sniper rifle. So ideally, if we could do every single stronghold once a week, we would love to if it was invaded, right? So we get all the pieces right away, but that's not how it works. So if you're lucky enough, what else can you do if you've already completed it this week's stronghold? Well, if you happen to have the invaded mission Grand Washington Hotel, well, you can get the blueprint now. Before you had to wait till you had every single exotic piece for the blueprint to drop for you, but they recently changed it. So yes, you just need to do Grand Washington Hotel when it's invaded and the first boss you encounter will drop the blueprint for you. Now the name of this boss is Puck, so he is the second encounter of NPCs that you run into. So once you eliminate him, he will drop the blueprint. Now a little update that they added to this part, to this quest is, if you have two pieces, you can get the blueprint to drop early on. So if you get Grand Washington Hotel that comes up and you've already done the first piece that you get from the sniper rifle, right? You break it down, that's one piece. And then you do a stronghold that's tied to it, that's two pieces. If you have Grand Washington Hotel that week, and you only have two pieces, you can get the blueprint without having to wait for the full cycle. So the next stronghold you're gonna wanna do is Roosevelt Island, and there's a boss at the very, very end called Shorty. He's a big heavy that you're gonna wanna kill to end up getting the next exotic component. But once you finish him off, you will get 
that exotic piece that you need and then you only need one more exotic piece before we can craft the big the beautiful nemesis now the final piece is going to be at the final stronghold capital building and the boss prime when this mission is invaded will drop that final piece that we need now remember you can do this in any order if you do capital if you do roosevelt if you do district union you can do them in any order but capital building was the last one that i needed to do on my map so once the boss comes out and you kill him you will get the final piece of the exotic sniper rifle now now that we have every single piece we just need to head to the base of operation and then craft the nemesis so head to the crafting table at the base of operation and once you get there you're going to notice you have the blueprint and then you have every single piece just go down to your exotic blueprints go all the way down and you'll see the nemesis and now you can craft the nemesis now if you end up crafting a nemesis that isn't gear score 500 because say your crafting table isn't at that level just yet you can always buy the upgrade blueprint from the vendor right there at the base of operation right next to the crafting table there's a vendor there and she should have the upgraded blueprint for the nemesis and if you get one in a drop that's lower the same thing now remember if you guys are new to my channel and you guys are enjoying these updated videos for every exotic hit the subscribe button turn notification bell on so when i release a video you guys get notified i appreciate all the support guys we are going to wrap up the video here i'll see you guys in the next one nothing but skills is out